What's going on, TW fans? And welcome back to this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. We got a ton of cool stuff to talk about today, so make sure you stick through to the end of this video because we got some real cool stuff to go over. All right, winter time is here. We know what that means. Bass fishing might get a little bit tougher. We also know that means there's a ton of holiday parties and holidays right down the road here. So Tackle Warehouse has got you covered. First product we're gonna talk about today. This is the holiday t-shirt from Tackle Warehouse. We've got some cool logos on here. We got old Saint Nick himself in his bass boat trying to hog his new personal best. So make sure you grab these things while you can. Once they are gone, they are gone for good. It is a limited release. So make sure you stock up on them now before all those holiday parties get here. You don't wanna be waiting for the last minute to get this thing in your shopping cart into your house. So a cool new design for this year's uh, holiday t-shirt. Make sure to check it out. All right, we're gonna jump into some new gear now. First up, starting as I often do with a new rod. We got a new one from Kistler. This is the Kistler Chromium series of rods. This thing is awesome. So handcrafted in Texas, which I like that, made right here in America, they use their proprietary blank system. So it's a KC8 plus carbon fiber blank, and this thing is nutty light. I mean, insanely light. The whole rod series itself averages around three and a half ounces. So super, super lightweight rod. It's gonna be a pleasure to fish all day long. So if you're casting on a line from you know, sun up to sun down, this is gonna be the rod you want in your hand. It's not gonna fatigue you or wear you out. Now, it being so light, you might get a little bit of concern about durability, but they use also a patent pending 45 degree overlay manufacturing process. That's just gonna kind of maintain that durability. So this thing is not gonna fail on you when you got a big one on the line. Premium guides on the top of this thing here for expert uh, cast management and line management. Nice little hook keeper system here. Open reel seat on the bottom here, so you're gonna get a ton of sensitivity out of it. And then these grips. I like these grips a lot. So it's the carbon fiber style grips, which sometimes can get a little bit slick, but Kistler's got you covered on this one. So they actually use a proprietary uh, coating on these things. So they're tacky right out the gate, but as they get wet, they get tackier. So, you know, maybe it's a uh, summertime fishing, your hands are getting a little bit sweaty, or it's springtime fishing, or even winter, you know, you get some sudden squalls or heavy rains. This thing is just gonna get tackier and easier to hold on to throughout a day of fishing. So a premium rod from Kistler in here, you definitely wanna check out the Chromium series. All right, let's take a look at some reels. For all my loud fishermen out there, we got the Proficiency Crazy Casting and Spinning Reel. You can kind of get why they call these things crazy. I mean, the cosmetics on them are just that, crazy. So super loud reels, but I mean, they got a ton of performance in them too. So the casting reel itself, nice graphite frame and body, so it's still lightweight, yet durable. It's got 10 bearing system in this thing, so it's gonna be really smooth as well. Jumping over to the spinning side, you're actually gonna get a couple of, couple of added features. So you're gonna get a magnesium body on this one. So again, super lightweight, but still really rigid. It's not gonna flex on you, fail, crack, break, anything like that. So it's gonna be really, really strong and light. And you're gonna get 11 bearings in this one. So really, really smooth operating uh, reel. So you got the casting reel and the spinning reel. Make sure to check them out from proficiency. Used by David Dudley, you know, four-time angler of the year uh, winner. I mean, it's, it's the killer reels. You're gonna wanna check them out and they're loud too. <laughs> All right, so we got a new one from Blitz. We got the Blitz Bad Ash Pad Knocker Frog. Bad Ash, I said Bad Ash. <laughs> so this was designed by Scott Ashmore, MLF Tour Pro. So you know this thing's gonna have all the right features in all the right places. Killer, sticky, sharp hook on this thing. I mean, this is really, uh, that's kind of one of the challenge of frog fishing, but with this, uh, that hookup ratio. But with these premium hooks, you're gonna get a lot more fish to the boat. Also has a really, really soft body. So again, that and the super shark hooks are gonna to combine to really increase, optimize your hookup ratio. You're gonna get a ton more fish back to the boat out of those exciting blowups. But that soft body's still durable, so you're gonna get a lot of fish out of these things as well. So interesting kind of oversized cheek you can see on this one. So it's almost giving you like a popping and walking frog combination. Those wide cheeks are gonna really throw, uh, splash a lot of water, cause a lot of commotion, call those fish up in dirty, stained or deeper water. So you can fish this thing in a ton of different places, absolutely over cover, but even some open water thanks to those wide cheeks. You also get some really kind of aggressive keeled edges or sides of the body here. So it's just gonna make it walk really well as well. Full size legs on the back so you can trim them up to your liking. Just a killer frog, that's the badass frog from Blitz. All right, another one with Blitz in the name here, this time from OSP. We got a new addition to the Blitz series of hard baits. We have the Blitz SSR square bill crankbait. Killer nice little square bill uh, crankbait, has that same honeycomb construction that all the other ones do, and it has this nice uh, really ultra wide square bill lip up front. 
So absolutely, that's gonna give you some killer action underwater as you're cranking this thing through, but also great deflective properties. We all know that a lot of the biggest bites are coming on those deflections after you bang into a rock, bang into some timber, uh, whatever the case may be, whatever you're running into, that's where those big bites are gonna come, and this thing's gonna do that very well. And then that uh, material that the lip is made out of, super durable, so you're able to crash into a lot, bulldoze a lot of things, and it's still gonna keep running. It's gonna track true right after it jumps out of the, uh, that cover, and it's not gonna fail, break, or uh, bend on you. So really nice little square bill crankbait, killer hooks on this thing, so you don't gotta swap them out right when you purchase them. Definitely for any of my shallow water specialists out there or just anybody that likes a good, uh, good square bill, you're gonna wanna check that one out. All right, we got a couple new lipless ones uh, from Depths. We got the Depths RT and TG Vibration Lipless Crankbaits. So I mean, people are learning more and more that these are really an all year round bait. So you know, we're coming up on winter here. Don't be, uh, don't be afraid to still put these things to use. You can almost jig them really slow off the bottom. And these things are gonna be killer additions to your lipless arsenal. So right here I have the TG in my hand. It's gonna come with a single tungsten knocker in there. So you're gonna get you know, that kind of deep knocking sound when you're running this one. The body design on it, it's designed to stay low and, and resist kind of pulling and resist lifting in the water column. It's gonna make it A, easier to fish all day long, and B, it's gonna keep it in the strike zone a little bit longer for you. Lipless crankbaits are awesome because, you know, as I mentioned, you know, wintertime, maybe you can jig them slow off the bottom. But I mean, there's just a year round bait because you can fish them any way you want. I mean, really cover every inch of the water column from burning it just below the surface, yo-yoing it, really covering the whole water uh, column, or as I mentioned a couple times now, just slow jigging it off the bottom. So the RT system here, what makes this one a little bit different is it uses three different BBs. It has brass, stainless steel, and glass. So you're just gonna get kind of a multi-layered acoustic sound of this one. You can hear it's real, real boisterous. So killer bodies on this one, same exact design, just a couple different sounds that you can use. So make sure to grab a couple of these. You're gonna really be able to round out your lipless arsenal with these things. All right, next up, also from Depths, we have the Depths MS Craw. So nice little finesse craw here. I'm gonna like this one a lot in the winter time. You know, you can absolutely use this one on a Ned, uh, Carolina rig it, even a little drop shot, or maybe a finesse, you know, football head or casting jig, whatever your favorite finesse jig is. So a cool little craw, got a kind of dense, uh, dense section up top here, perfect for rigging it on a Ned head or however you're gonna rig this thing. And then ringed body in the mid section here, just gonna kind of grab, push, throw a little bit more water, help the bass locate this thing, create a little bit of air bubbles, and then you have the micro appendages on the side. Again, just gonna kind of cause some of those uh, air bubbles, a little bit of secondary motion in it, really call to them. And then the flappers up front, they have deep molded cups on them. So you're really gonna get a tremendous amount of flapping action on this thing. So whether you're hopping it on the bottom, slow dragging it on the bottom, or just on the fall, you're gonna get a ton of action out of the claws themselves. So if you're looking for a new finesse craw for you know, this winter or really any time of the year, make sure to check out that one from Depths. It's the Depths MS Craw. Sticking with the soft plastics here, uh, we got one that's kind of a hybrid between, you know, maybe kind of finesse and power fishing here. From FMTC, we have the new Shizo stick bait. So they got a patent pending design on this one. First thing I noticed when I picked it up, this plastic is really, really dense. So you're gonna get a ton of weight to it. You're gonna be able to cast this thing weightless really, really far. Or maybe you can use it on a wacky jig head. Uh, with this symmetrical design on here, it gives it a kind of a crazy uh, shimmy falling effect. So as it's falling through the water column, they're saying that you can feel the vibration, almost like those lipless crankbaits we talked about earlier, through your rod length. So I mean, that's pretty crazy in itself. So kind of a unique stick bait on here that's gonna really excel wacky rigging. You can use it a few other ways as well, but that's where I think it's gonna really, really, really shine. So it just has that cool shimmy action to it. You know, on a wacky rig, you're gonna hop it, drag it, let it fall through the water column. Just gonna really call those fish in with kind of a unique action. And like I said, super dense plastic. So you're gonna be able to cast that one weightless a long way. All right, last soft plastic we're gonna talk about is gonna be a new one from Riot Baits. We have the Riot Baits Cyclone. So this is a cool, you know, beaver style bait. What I like about it is it's really, really customizable. So up top, you know, you have this kind of aggressive ribbing on there. Again, it's gonna grab, push water, disturb more water, help the bass locate it. But these appendages are where it gets really, really neat. So down up front, you have all four of these connected. So if you wanna disconnect them all, make them all, you know, wave, wiggle independently, you can absolutely do that. Maybe just disconnect the two outside ones or the two inside ones. You know, it's really gonna be up to you to customize it. And more than just disconnecting or leaving them connected here, you can actually remove them. Pop a couple of the outside ones off so you get just you know, the two appendages in the middle. There's just a ton you can do. On the side here, you have two little you know, molded kicking, uh, kicking appendages on the side too, so it's just gonna really give you a ton of action. A dense kind of bulky body, so it's gonna really accept a lot of the kind of the beefier uh, flipping hooks out there, which is nice. Then you have a, 
a barb keeper system here. So for any of those hooks that have, you know, welded or fluorocarbon or mono keepers, it's gonna really hold it in here. And then you have a hook point uh, protector up front as well. So it's just gonna be kind of nice uh, weedless presentation. You can do a lot with it. Like I said, totally customizable. You're gonna wanna check this one out from Riot Baits. Last product today, another cool one. We got the Owner HD Jungle Flippin' Hook. This thing is nasty. I mean, it is the beefiest, baddest hook that owner makes. Perfect for flipping through heavy cover, whether it's timber, rock, vegetation, whatever the case may be, this thing is gonna be able to stand up to that and also whatever bruiser fish is hiding in that cover. I mean, this thing is nuts. So you got a deep V uh, channel on this thing. It's gonna do a couple of things. One, give you some really rapid penetration. And two, it's just gonna keep that fish better pinned for a long fight back to the boat. You're just gonna get more of those fish in your live well that you may have otherwise lost on the fight back. Up the shank here, you have a wire keeper system. So it's never gonna bend or break or fail on you. It's gonna really pin your favorite plastic, maybe it's that riot bait cyclone, and really pin it in place well. Welded ring on the top so you can use your braided lines. Absolutely, it's not gonna slip or fall out. I really like it when they do those welded rings. And then the whole thing itself is made on owner Zo wire technology. So it's able to maintain kind of a thinner wire profile, but it maximizes the strength. And it's finished with a, a silky gray frictionless finish. So again, that combined with this unique hook shape, it's just gonna give really rapid penetration. And again, just get more of those fish back to the boat. We know as wintertime sets in, bass's mouths can harden, so you can absolutely jack that hook through their lip, no problem. So I really, really like that hook. I'm excited to use it this year. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this edition of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. As always, to shop for these products or to learn more about them, make sure to click shop or the link in our description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow our, uh, our page here so we can put out a bunch more like it and you can keep watching those as well. And let us know in the comments which one of these things you're most excited to use, or in this case, maybe wear. Maybe it's the holiday t-shirt. Let us know. We wanna hear from you guys. All right, we'll see y'all next week.